Hey everyone, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video, I am teaching you how to make a realistic boat perspective. Many of y'all requested for this tutorial from my tropical city. And if you wanna see how I've also transitioned from a perspective like this, I'll have my video linked of my island tour from my tropical city. So you can kind of get some ideas if you wanna recreate this on your island. But honestly, there's just so many different ways you can transition from doing a build like this. I also want to add that this build is not limited to the spot on your island that I am working on today. It was just the first place I decided to build on. So if this location doesn't work on your map, you can definitely replace the build somewhere else that is convenient. Another important thing I want to tell you about this build today too is the amount of water that you're going to have to add on here. It is a bunch of trial and error basically. I had to actually go back and forth about three or four times to figure out how I wanted the distance to look from my lookout. If you're working from the first level and you don't want to add a second level lookout, I want to say that roughly 20 squares from the back of your map should be plenty of space for the lookout. But uh, for the actual terraform part, I wanna say that I roughly went from the back of my map to 24 or 25 squares. So hopefully that gives you a number and something to work off of. The goal basically with this build is to hide the very bottom of the yacht item. You don't wanna see the wheels whatsoever or the terraform. So obviously I still have a lot of adjusting to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove my lookout terraform and adjust it as needed. And honestly, that is my best advice through this whole entire build process. Adjust it until you are happy with the view that you've created with the yachts. You can also rearrange the yachts however you choose to. There's just different ways you can lay them out. But I decided to just keep it pretty simple just like I did on my tropical city, but definitely keep that in mind. If you wanna get more creative with the lookout, feel free to do so. So now that I have a general idea of the dimensions I need the uh, water to be, I'm gonna go ahead and place the second yacht, but keep in mind as you place these and rearrange them, you're gonna have to expand and make adjustments to the water and lookout spots as needed. So I definitely needed to make some adjustments after placing this next boat, but at least you have a general idea of how the placement for these need to be. So once I go up there, you're gonna notice that we can still see that terraform at the distance. So obviously we need to remove actually maybe two or one squares back of this lookout terraform. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you how the view looks after we've made those adjustments. Next, I'm just gonna align the lookout area with my favorite fence. And you can obviously do any kind of fence or color of fencing of your choice. I honestly really like using the safety railing, but I thought that this fit the location better. So definitely make the adjustments for the build as needed. I'm also gonna be rounding out and just perfecting the edges of the terraform as needed so I can add extra greenery and just fill the area in, especially if you don't want any harsh blocky edges, definitely round this out and make it as natural as needed for your island. I also want to add that when I place the fourth boat, you're gonna notice that I made some adjustments in a future transition. Originally, I was trying to do a different layout with it, but it ended up not working like I planned. You could still see the bottom of the wheels and I just didn't wanna to have to expand the terraform more. So I ended up just rotating it. Now, if you do like how that looks, feel free to expand the waterscape. I wanna say about two or three more squares and it should be fine. But again, I just didn't wanna to have to do it anymore. After I get the boat perspectives the way I want them, I'm just gonna go ahead and decorate this as I choose. If you really liked how I did the tropical city by adding some green to this all you need to do is expand the terraform out as needed you can fill in with different shrubs and different flowers I just like to do the hardwood trees and the coconut trees but if you're not doing a tropical theme you could easily just replace this with uh, cedar trees and something a little bit more rustic so definitely keep that in mind if you want to add a build like this to your island but you're not doing a tropical theme code adjustments and greenery adjustments will work perfectly fine with this one of my favorite items to use especially when I'm doing water lookouts is the garden rock and the tall garden rock. These just make your water areas feel a little bit more realistic, adds a very minor detail. And also the great thing about this type of build too, is if you're somebody who doesn't want a super laggy island, but you still wanna add really cool lookouts and just a lot of details on your other island locations, Having a bunch of water and lookouts like this help reduce lag because you're not using a ton of items to clutter in different locations. So this is definitely something to keep in mind, especially if you're wanting to do a very detailed island, but you're trying to reduce the lag as much as possible. Once I finish adding a few minor details, the main build is officially finished. Let me know what you thought about today's video in the comment section below and also what your plans are for this on your own island. I would love to hear how you plan to transition from it and more. My favorite time of day 
day for this build is definitely golden hour. I just think the sunset is absolutely stunning and how the boats just have like a shadowing effect. It makes it feel like they are also further away. I hope this video brings you a ton of inspiration for your island. And also if you ever need help with a specific theme or build, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below. I'm always checking them. With that being said, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next video. Have a horrible day.